you want to add a course or a membership program to your Squarespace website, you can do that using members areas. Now this is an add-on premium feature, so it does come with additional charge on top of your current subscription. Um, you can also only create up to 10 members areas or 10 courses. So one, three or 10 are the options. So that has to come into consideration when deciding whether Squarespace is the right option for you. It will depend on what you're selling. If you do want to set up a members area, you go to pages and under members areas, this blue icon says it's a premium feature. You're going to click the plus icon. Give your membership area or course title a name. So we'll just do course. And then you can set the fee. So you can set it as a set amount if we wanted to do $500 in one payment. If you want to add a payment plan, you can do that here. Um, recurring, so you can set up a recurring um, subscription. Say you sell some sort of group and it's say 30 bucks or 500, uh, 50 bucks a month, you could set that up here. You can also adjust it by week or year. Um, and then again, you can add multiple options or you can offer it for free. So for the purposes of this tutorial, let me do one payment of $500. Once you've done that, hit done. And your course area is now set up. Now the first thing we want to do is add uh, our course content. So we're gonna add a page and we're gonna scroll down and you can build it out using a blank page. You can build it out using um, page layouts if you want or if you want to sell a bunch of videos, you can do that or you can set it up as a portfolio. Um, so any way that you want to display your content, it works like any other page on your Squarespace website. So um, if we click videos as an example, I can select this one. So say I want to sell some yoga videos and this is my main page. So um, you see here where it says the, it's got the little house icon. That means that it is my membership homepage so that when they sign in, this is your homepage. This is the page they're going to land on. If we added another page, so say we added a blank page uh, here, we could set this up and we could click edit and maybe we want to add a video and welcome in everyone. And then we could add another section and what we could do is say, let's do a list. We could have a list of all our different modules. Oh, something went wrong there. Fix. We could have a list of all of our modules and we can display it so people can click. So we'd go on edit content, content, and then here where it's got the link, uh, it doesn't have the link because I haven't given that option. But if we come here and we put show button, uh, we could go on content and we can click on this one. We can give it an image, select module one, give it a little description and I could put access and then I would link it to that page. So we'd have to set up the page and then we would link it in here and you would just do the same. So you could set this up however you like. If I hit done and save and I come into this gear icon again, you'll see that I can set this as a member's homepage. So you can really customize it however you like. If we go back into yoga courses where we've set videos up, you'll see that I can click in here and I can just add my videos. So to add a new video, scroll down, add video. I would upload the video. It says 30 minutes left, but if we upgraded our plan, we can do up to three hours. We can give it a description, a URL. We can click on categories, and this is how we categorize the videos to a collection. So if you're selling a collection, you can do that here. Or if you have sections within a course, you can do that here. You can select the status and then you've got your SEO information in here. So that's how you would add a new one. If we come into this example, you'll see how it looks. So if we click edit, you'll see how it displays. And this isn't currently a feature. You can't really add a video anywhere else on your website just now, but it's an indicator that Squarespace are going to be incorporating native video into their programs. So you can then just edit the video here. And again, give it description here. 
So it doesn't work like other content pages where you click to add a content block. It's very um, specific. You would go through here and you would add the information in if you're using this option. Um, but like I said, you can, you can build it however you like. You would come in here and adjust all the categories. You can click this gear icon to bring up your settings. So this is where you add or delete a category. So you can hover over, click here and delete it or edit the name of it. Um, so that's if you're selling video courses. But like I said, you can build it out however you like. Just make sure that members can navigate to the pages they're looking for. So here we've got our auto layout and I've got module one in access. So if I have module one as a separate page, I can design it however I like. Um, for example, if I wanted to use videos and embed it my own way, I could embed it from YouTube, I could embed it from Loom or any other platform. And then I just need to make sure that this access link links to module one. And I also need to make sure that on module one, there's a link back to this home page or there's a link to the next one or both. Right, so that's a big consideration here, making sure that users can navigate between pages. There needs to be a link available to take them to their home page or um, and and or the next page. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you once you're done building out your course is you'll need to come into commerce. And then you'll have to scroll down to customer accounts. And you'll have to turn this on. When you turn this on, this creates a login link on your website. And when you've got that login link on, that's how customers will access your course. So if you already have a course available, it's going to add the login to your navigation. And that's how customers are going to log into your account. Now to manage your customers and people who sign up for your list, you can, of course, if you're using email marketing campaigns, you can send emails that way to, to your clients and your customers and people who sign up. Um, if you click on profiles, you'll see there is an option for members. So if we click on members here, you will be able to access all your members that have signed up and manage them in this account. So you'll see here, you just click based on the course apply and it will give you that information. Last thing I want to show you with members areas is if you come into settings, you can click on members areas here and it's just going to give you another place to manage these settings. So management here, you can create a members area here and manage members. We looked at that in profiles and we looked at create members areas on your pages. Then you have shortcuts to payments, discounts, taxes, notification and commerce settings. So these are all actually managed in commerce under the commerce tab. And then here where you've got setting members navigation, you can click here and you can show if you want to um, replace the main navigation up top of the course, if you want to show it in the customer account panel or don't show navigation. So that's the last thing I just wanted to share with you if just another place to manage a lot of these settings. So that's a basic overview of Squarespace members areas. Like I said, it's, it's still quite new to the platform. Um, it's not as as um, intuitive as other platforms like Teachable or Thinkific or Podia. Uh, but it is a good option if you want some integration. It does. It just means that you're going to have to take the time to build out these pages how you like. But they are. They do fit into the design and the layout of your Squarespace website, and you can use these templates to make things easy for yourself. And what I'd say is, say you have a module and you've designed it how you like, you can just come into this gear icon, and then you can duplicate the page and then switch it out for the next module or the next course or the next video however you want to do it you can also build it all out on one page so you could have all of your videos for a course on here and just have say a uh, video one two three four or if it's even an email um sorry not an email if it's sort of a text-based course you can just add your text in um, and link it out to the next page that way. So there's there's a lot of options there. Um, play around with it, see if you're comfortable with it. You can design it all out without having to sign up for members areas. So see how it works and then also test out alternatives to figure out which option is best for you. 
Thank you so much for watching, my friend. I hope that you found it valuable. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section. I try to read and respond to every single one of them. And if you want even more tips on how you can publish, teach and sell online with Squarespace, hit the subscribe button and click the little bell icon so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. Much love from my heart to yours. Have a beautiful day wherever you are in the world.